Where we left off the other day, we remember we were going to put the integral and find out the distance that the particle traveled. So that one was our integral, negative 1 to 2 square root of 1 plus 9 x to the fourth dx. So I'm going to show you now how to use this on the TI-85, which will be similar to the 86. You go to the, I'll clear this here. When you turn it on, and you just go to uh, exit. So when you when the clear when the screen is all cleared, you can go to the button called calc calculus, and it'll give you these options. On the TI 83 plus and the 84 plus, you go to math, and then on, under math, it's the last uh, option before solver. You can put fn int. So fn int is the one that we're going to use. It's right here. It's an integral. And you put that in the TI-89, you put, you put F3, and it's on the top of the uh, screen. Uh, you should see an F3 button, and then that will bring down the calc, uh, calculus options. OK, so now we put here 1 plus 9x, parentheses, 1 plus 9x to the power 4 to the power 0.5. And then we close, uh, so that one closes the integral. And now we put comma, x, comma, negative 1, comma, 2. So the x means that you're doing the integral in terms of x. Uh, and then negative 1 and 2 are the lower and the upper limits of the integral. Close the parentheses, press enter, and that gives you the answer. Ten point one seven eight. So we can write that down here. That would have been a lot harder integral to do with uh, just pure using calculus techniques, right? Uh, very hard. So that one give, gave us the answer pretty quick. OK, any questions on that? You all got how to do the integral? OK. So now let's turn this off and then continue the rest of the problem. So let's put the the drawing was like this. And then this was the point two eight. Negative one, negative one. And I believe what was the, the rate at which the x was changing as a function of time was uh, t to the fourth, right? And uh, the other thing that we knew is the equation of the line. y equals x cubed is the equation of the line. Now from this, now we want to analyze the problem more fully. This one, from this one, we can uh, take the dt over there and then integrate both sides. That tells us how the x is changing as a function of time. x of t is equal to t to the fifth over 5 plus a constant. Right? And the meaning of the constant is the initial x. What is x when t is 0? Right? The initial x. So x of 0 is equal to this, of course, is 0, so it's just equal to the constant. And what is the initial x? Well, the problem tells us the particle starts out at negative 1, negative 1, so the initial x is negative 1. So that means the constant is negative 1. So that, with that, we determine the x of t 
dependence. So uh, x of t is equal to t to the fifth over 5 minus 1. And then we know y is equal to whatever x is cubed. So y of t must be equal to this thing to the power 3. Okay? So the general equation of the position of this particle is the x of t and the y of t. So the, we, the general position we can draw like this. Our vector of t is equal to t to the fifth over 5 minus 1 i hat plus t to the fifth over 5 minus 1 to the cubed j hat. So the general position of the uh, particle is whatever x position it has i hat plus whatever y position it has j hat. And now with that we can take the derivative of that v of t is the derivative of that which will give you uh, 5 and 5 cancels so t to the fourth i hat plus and then the derivative of that is 3 times t to the fifth over 5 minus 1 squared right you take uh, bring down the 3 subtract 1 from the power then take the derivative of the inside which is t to the fourth times j hat. So that's the velocity vector. And then the acceleration vector is going to give you the derivative of that, which is going to be 4t cubed i hat plus <coughs> You get to practice uh, your calculus here, product rule, <laughs> okay? So uh, we can take the, this thing times the derivative of that thing. So let me put brackets here. 3 times t to the fifth over 5 minus 1 squared times the derivative of that, 4t cubed plus uh, derivative of this thing times that thing. So uh, 6 times t to the 5th over 5 minus 1 to the 1 power times, uh, let's see here, 6 times t to the 5th over minus 1 to the 1 power times the derivative of the inside, which is t to the 4th, right? That's the derivative of the first part. So uh, I'll go over that again. 6 times t to the 5th over 5 minus 1 to the 1 power times the derivative of the inside, which is t to the 4th, times the t to the 4th. This whole thing j hat. Right? So that's the general equation for the t as a function of, the uh, general equation for the acceleration as a function of time. Okay, after we have analyzed all of this, then we can begin answering some of the questions that the problem asked. The problem asked, what is the average speed of the particle? What is the average displacement? What is the average velocity? And all of that, all of those questions. So in part A, let's go over here. We have the average speed is the distance traveled over the time. So uh, 10.178 divided by, oh, the problem, the, by the way, the problem didn't tell us uh, the time, right? The, I, I believe it even asked us, what is the time? Now, how do we find that out? Uh, we can find that out from here, right? In other words, we can find out how many seconds it would take the particle to go from x is negative 1 to x is 2. So let's do that right here before we proceed. x of t is equal to t to the 5 over 5 plus a constant. And we know the constant is negative 1, so let me change that. 